Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Level M Diecast is the place. Thanks for joining today. We have made it through halfway of this particular week. We are on hump day, which is always a good thing. We are going to celebrate today with some mini GT action. Uh, this is the most current uh, haul of mini GT. We're also going to take a look at um, uh, the fantastic truck that's in the back there. The LBWK Kuma Graffiti. Um, so this is kind of a mishmash of the newest uh, releases. There are um, a little bit of um, weird how they're releasing stuff. So typically Mini GT has like, you know, five, maybe six models that they uh, release pre-orders for. And then you go in there as a vendor and you pre-order. And then that's just kind of how these come out like this. Uh, the, the mixes are kind of getting blended together a little bit. So... Um, like the the 190e um, is kind of different from the Miata and the Porsche, uh, but then like the Bugatti goes with the S2000s. Um, the truck is its own standalone thing, so it's just a little weird mishmash. I do have another haul on its way here, um, which has uh, the rest of the current stuff plus some very very brand new stuff, including a rough CTR in yellow, which will be pretty exciting. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and get into this. Uh, we're going to get our trusty little fancy blade, and we're going to get a little surgery going on here. Uh, we're just going to take a look um, at these models in real time. Get the uh, plastic off of here. There we go. Nice box. Uh, this particular shipment came to me via UPS, and uh, it's actually been in transit for like forever. Um, I'm not really sure why it took so long to get here, but it did. But it's here now. So this is the newest version of the Land Rover Defender 90 two-door. Here's the 110 is the four-door. The 90 is the two-door. So this is in the Country Squire. Um, it's a country wagon. I'm sorry. Uh, in Stratos Blue. So they've already done the four-door uh, Land Rover. Um, it was one of the first ones they did of the four-door. Uh, you'll notice this guy does have a tow hitch on there. Because... Uh, there's a trailer to pull with Mini GT nowadays, so there's that nice trailer hitch you can see. Looks pretty good. Um, this one is uh, definitely a needed. The uh, two-door um, hardtop is uh, only been released, I think, in one other version, I think. This might even be the very first hardtop. Uh, but they did the two-door truck version, so they've done several of those. Uh, but again, just really good casting. Mini GT quality. Nice, soft, rubber-like mirrors. Always good with the deeds. Always comes with a nice little holster. Put him in there. Throw him back in the box. He will go up into the display, which is uh, actually pretty close to being put back together. So pretty excited about that. So pull that back in there. Uh, we're going to move on to the Porsche Taken. Uh, this is in Genesian Blue Metallic. Uh, not a very good color. Um, <clears throat> personally, I don't think it's a very good color. But... Um, there are many people out there who uh, like Porsche and uh, who would definitely rock that color. The struggle is real. Destroy the box. It's like surgery. It's literally like surgery. Here we go. Get that open. Now, sometimes we got to do real-time videos. Sometimes you just you got to deal with the struggle. The struggle is real. So I'm very happy that these boxes are in very good shape. I was just a little bit worried about that coming from UPS because you know you can't uh, can't spell stupid without UPS. Um, <clears throat> here is the Porsche Taken in Genesian blue. Nice gold wheels on there. Um, it says uh, Taken Turbo S on the door. That's very nice. Um, this actually looks a lot better in person than on the box. The box didn't look all that great. So I was a little bummed out, but actually holding it in hand, this is fantastic. Um, if you guys follow my Instagram, I already have the chase of this. I actually picked that up uh, yesterday, I think it was. So um, I was still waiting for this haul. Like this, I said, this haul just took forever to get here. So I ended up getting some chase pieces before the actual model themselves. It does say Porsche on the back. Get that to focus. There we go. Looks pretty good. Always happy to get more Porsches. Just basic base deets. <clears throat> this one sits in there pretty pretty decently. 
Some of them actually like snap into the plastic and it drives me absolutely berserk. There we go. Get that guy in there. Uh, we're going to do a duo. Uh, we're going to hit two S2Ks. Um, make sure I cut this guy open from the right uh, side. Don't want to damage the box. Here, we'll do it on this side. I know I don't have... I don't have proper ways to uh, open these boxes right now, so uh, it's a little it's a little rough. There we go. Get that open. Rip off the plastic. Oops. So in my haste, uh, the Porsche is three thirty nine and the uh, Land Rover is three fifty three. This uh, red Mugen S two thousand is three sixty seven. New Formula Red. It says, I love. See this box with no indentions? Why can't they all be like that? Why can't every single box be like that? Why do they have to have the indented flaps? So here is the Mugen S2000. Uh, they've done one in black. Uh, now we have one in red. This one looks pretty good though because it does have the gold wheels. So obviously uh, brings the Mugen out. Does have Mugen there on the plate as well. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna get that to focus a little bit. It's uh, it's pretty nice. It's it's definitely one of the better S2Ks for sure. I think it looks pretty good. It does have that like carbon fiber detail to the uh, hood there. There's your some bump details on there. Looks like there's some residue on it. It's very uncommon to see residue on Mini GT models. Uh, it does have that itty bitty teeny tiny uh, antenna there in the back. Looks pretty good. Painted uh, exhaust, so pretty nice details. I like the uh, molded bumper here. So that's an added-on skirt, but as part as far as the casting is concerned, it's it's uh it's part of the uh, body. It's actually metal. It's metal. It's crazy. Gotta be super careful of the little antennae. Slide him in there. Close the box. Move on. Number 349, this is the Type S, uh, which is the uh, CR in the U.S., but in Japan it was called a Type S. Uh, give a shout out to one of my boys, D, for pointing that out to me because uh, I'm not a Honda guy, but uh, he let me know. I was like, I was like, what's the difference, dude? And uh, I don't know, take it from a Honda guy, uh, which is not me. So Grand Prix White with the five spokes again. Nice box. Maybe it's a Honda thing. Who knows? Sliding this one out. This one looks pretty good. I like these wheels. Definitely like these wheels more than the other ones that were on the other one. It does have the modified front bumper as well from the factory version. Nice wing on it. Looks pretty nice. Giant third brake light. Does say Type S on the back. That looks pretty good. Itty bitty, teeny tiny. I just love that little tiny antenna. Just teeny tiny antenna. It's just such a crazy detail. You know, a lot of uh, premium brand companies would be like, "We're just, we're just not even going to do that. It's, it's irrelevant." But Mini GT is like, "No, we're going to do that. We're doing that for Shell." And of course, just the nice soft mirrors as well. So it's, looks pretty good. Not a Honda guy. You guys know that. I'll be the first to admit it. Uh, but I am a Mini GT guy and I am a completist. So we get all the Mini GTs that there are. All right, we're going to do, let's do the Bugatti. This is the uh, Centendori. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that again. Uh, but whatever it is, it's in white. Uh, just another special edition, essentially, of the Chiron uh, Bugatti did a bunch of those, uh, just like McLaren has done with the uh, 720S and whatnot. A million different versions of the exact same car. You got the Saber and the Senna and the Speedtail and all that good stuff. So I'm going to pull this one out. This one has the flaps again. Must be a Bugatti thing. There is your Bugatti uh, trademarked hologram. Make sure you have the authentic Bugattis. Of course, this one is giant, um, as you'd expect, because it's a giant car in real life. 
Um, this thing is pretty wicked. Holy cow, look at the tampos on the back of that. Holy cow, it's like perfect. Look at that. Do the uh, double stacked exhaust looks fantastic. Tail lights, very interesting. Crazy wing on there. It says Bugatti underneath the wing. You can see into the engine bay as well. It's crazy. This one's wicked. It's like this really nice white pearl. Looks super good. Wheels are ridiculous in the front end. The super fine detail for those headlights. I mean, super fine detail. Look at that. You'd never see that on any other manufacturer. That's nuts. Base is just basic, as you would expect. It is metal base. Some of these do have plastic bases. They're pretty rare, but they do have some of them. Um, <clears throat> this one's pretty wicked. That one looks pretty good. Pretty happy with that one. Um, I actually debated getting the chase for this one, but I passed on it uh, mainly just because price, you know, it's Bugatti. Everybody just wants to milk the crap out of it. But, uh, you know, maybe I'll get a chase at some point in time for that one. I do have the chase for both uh, Vision Grand Turismos that are out currently. So we'll see. Uh, moving on to the um, MX-5. Um, they are doing an Anusa Roadster as well. So... Uh, I actually have that one on its way. So we'll see what's different between the Anus Roadster and the MX-5 when it gets here. Uh, but it won't be uh, this week. It won't be until uh, next week. So this will be your Mini GT flavor for the week. Classic red headlight up with the soft top. We have not seen this combo yet. We have not seen one with a top on it, with a convertible top, hard top on it. Again, love this box. Just love this box. Always going to be talking about that. So this is the first time we're seeing it with the roof on. Um, there it is with the headlights popped up. Looks nice and cute like they always do. A little tiny, uh, you know, little tiny sports car. Uh, looks like my tire is messed up on one side. There we go. Fix that. Looks good. Um, I do like it with the headlights popped up. Again, they're plastic, so there's a little bit of a red difference from what is painted on there versus the model. But it's not the end of the world. Um, no, it is not a removable top. Re top is fixed in there. It does have window in the back. Um, it is open though in there. So windows are down. Those nice classic Miata wheels looks very very good. Tail light details to say Mazda on the plate, or I'm sorry, Mazda on the right, and then Miata on the plate. And of course your crazy little dinky exhaust out the bottom. Basic base deeds. This thing is teeny so tiny super super i should have put this next to the bugatti maybe we'll do that i don't know it's just a very very teeny tiny casting it, this thing is just tiny 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 is exactly what you'd expect it to be uh being that it's a miata it's a teeny look at that barely even makes up any of the blister any of it. throw him back in there i know you guys are probably like dude just get to the truck get to the truck get to the chopper uh, we're going to take a look at this. This is the most uh, current version of the 190E. Uh, definitely one of my favorite uh, Mini GT castings. Obviously not, not my favorite, but one of my favorites. So this is the 190E number 65. This is the AMG Morton Bow 1990 DTM. This is number 342. And of course the Miata was 361. Because I'm getting ahead of myself. I do apologize. Uh, and then the Bugatti was 337. So, again, sorry, guys, getting ahead of myself. Uh, just preemptively, uh, triple threes. Triple threes. So, it could be good. could be good. Take that to Vegas. Uh, we're going to crack this guy open. There we go. Pull the box. Now, you know the uh, 190Es do have that crazy Mercedes-Benz logo on the front. Teeny, itty-bitty, tiny. You can barely see it on the hood ornament, so you got to be super careful when you move these ones around. There is your Mercedes logo on the hood. Yep, it is a legitimate hood piece that's on there. Uh, definitely not something you get away with nowadays because that would be a huge hazard. Uh, even in racing, uh, it would still be a huge hazard. So uh, this one is fantastic, though. This one is like, it's just different. It just, it's, you know, it's not your typical silvers. It doesn't, you know, typically scream race car livery. Uh, this one just looks wicked. It's all silver on the bottom. Nice, brilliant silver. Uh, with some off yellow wraparound towards the back. And then just a white top. 
with some red lines and details there on the hood. There is some deets. A lot of German on here for sure. Just like you'd expect it to have. Michael Schumacher, I think, is who that is for. Um, that's pretty cool. Autometer as a sponsor. I'm not even going to try to pronounce any of these other names. Um, like the wheels as well. Nice slicks on there as well. And then print on the uh, wing is pretty good. There we go. Karcher. I love this. This one is just so, it's so race car. The 190E is so race car. Um, if you guys are fortunate enough, uh, I was fortunate enough, but if you have the road going versions that Mini GT did at the beginning in silver and black, uh, those are two of the best Mini GTs ever. They're just really, really good, well executed castings uh, models. Very, very nice. So there's that. All right. Now, getting to the money shot. Okay. Now, I will admit um, I'm a little bummed out because there is actually a matching GTR that goes with this truck. Um, we'll, oops, we'll try to uh, we'll put it up there somewhere just to show you guys. Um, that one has been uh, pretty lucrative and it's been very elusive as well for me to get. Um, it does pop up on eBay relatively frequently um, to bid on, but most of them, almost all of them come from Hong Kong. And I, I'm having a hard time like waiting how long it takes to ship from Hong Kong. But if I would have bought it at the beginning, I'd have it by now. And I would have just, there would be nothing else to complain about. So let's get to the truck. It does come with a plastic uh, cellophane wrap around it. Uh, like I said, this haul was delivered via UPS. And uh, I don't have a whole lot of faith in UPS. So let's hope this truck survived. Hopefully it was packaged well. We'll get the protective plastic off first because we don't keep that. That is irrelevant here. There is the truck all by its lonesome. Still has the exact same style of box as all Mini GTs, which I think is just super cool. Uh, looks really, really nice. Some deets on the back. Just talks about, you know, that the container, op container opens and there's you know, trailer stands and all that kind of stuff. You know, typical stuff we've already seen. Um, this is There's no new casting stuff with this. This is just a new version. And, of course, there is barcode deets. Should you need the barcode deets, you want to try to order it or something at some point. So we'll just open one side. Again, nice box with no cut flaps. It's, just, it's always going to be a thing. It's always going to be a thing. So this comes in two separate pieces. So there's your first piece. It is exactly like this in the box. So we just took the cab out. Now we will take out the trailer, which is pretty heavy because it's all metal. We'll slide that out. Set our box to the side because we definitely keep the box. 100% keep the box. Uh, we'll get the trailer first. It is taped. So we'll just run our uh, X-Acto, uh, which is pretty worn out these days. Um, Try to get him right on the right spot this time. There we go. Right around the corner. Okay. Come around to the other side. So we can just lift the whole thing off. Okay. It's kind of popped. It does have an arrow on the top to show you which direction. So this will be facing. Woo! All right. Ooh, that thing is super colorful. All right, so when you lift this out, the trailer will never come with it. You have to lift the container out by itself. It's just the way it works. So here's the container. We'll set that to the side just real quick. We'll get down in here. Always grab the trailer from the front. Leave your little tissue paper in there. The reason I say to grab it from the front is this is all metal, uh, and there's nothing connected here. Uh, but you can grab it from back here, or you can grab it you know, upwards like this. Uh, this is probably one of the least uh, detailed chassis they've done. Uh, just not saying that it's not detailed. I'm just saying it's just black. It's just matte black. So we'll set this down. Put this on there. Put that in the back. Set this here. This is our container. LB Performance, LBWK. Liberty Walk, it says. Liberty Walk again. 
really really nice print i mean look at the just it's very thick the paint is very thick and i think that's important uh very very high quality wow look at that look at the wrap around to the doors it's absolutely fantastic looks so good the doors do open there's a little tab so you can get your finger in there and open it up it is all done up in there so the floor is done and then there's like an off white uh like matte finished uh coating to the inside of the container which looks pretty good it's pretty accurate to a real container so that's a pretty good detail the doors are metal because the entire container is metal uh moving on to the other side it is the same deets front of it says liberty walk does have some nice numbers there Six two six three four five, and then a two. Not sure if those numbers have any significance. Um, and then the top is done up as well. So LBWK on both sides. There's numbers. Those numbers probably mean something. For those aficionados, definitely let me know. Um, then just standard, you know, mini GT made in China on the bottom. This is uh this is like matte finished on the bottom because it doesn't matter. You're not gonna see it. So that looks super good. There is little uh, notches in each corner corresponding to little pins on the trailer. And then it just sets in those little tiny pins. There you go. So there we go. So there is your trailer. Get this centered real quick. There we go. There we go. Now it's on there. So just be really careful when you move this around. There is some plastic parts on here. Um, and then here is some deets on the back, just some uh, tail light tampo, which is pretty nice. Some reflectors. Um, these also can say long vehicle on them as well. Uh, this is definitely a Euro styled trailer. Definitely not meant to be of American flavor. Triple axle as well. Does have spare tire in there. Nice air tank detail. Looks pretty good. Uh, the landing gear uh, does unscrew. Um, and that's how you change it to uh, make it stand up. And then just the front of the uh, trailer to make sure that the container gets dropped and slides on and lines up correctly. And then, of course, yep, of course it rolls. So Mini GT actually does roll, which is pretty nice. So we'll set him in the back. We'll bring out the front side. Cut this guy open. This one has definitely more tape on it than the other one or at least a bigger piece of tape i need a i need a new blade also need something more uh, official to uh, cut stuff open so i don't look so i don't look so ridiculous um must have a little bit of tape connected somewhere okay okay and all right i think we're i think we're gucci now there we go again there's an arrow so it should be facing this way when we open this up comes with a uh, piece of uh tissue paper in there i try to leave that in there so it stays uh connected so we'll pull our actress up and just pull it right up sits right in there it's all metal so just don't uh grab on the uh mirrors and all those attachments and stuff like that uh good thing to see those are not damaged or anything like that so very very good no additional parts down in here so that means thank you mini gt you did a great job packaging you get a star for today we are very excited for that this is the mercedes-benz actros does say liberty walk on the side with the uh you know kind of i don't know if that's supposed to be a bear or what that's supposed to be but looks good nice rubber tires 164 scale it does have a steerable axle in the front which is very very nice uh the cab doesn't tilt or anything it is fixed there is the deets in the front you know your spotter mirrors your side mirrors all that good stuff like that very good detail in the front looks very 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 good lensed headlights and all nice big uh mercedes-benz logo it says liberty walk lb works r on the top there's a nice skylight in there as well. And then here's the other side. Again, just nice steering. Looks pretty good. Rolls perfectly good too. 
nice detail through the uh, steps you can see there. And then it does have actual rubber hoses. Um, they don't hook to the trailer. They're not meant to hook to the trailer or anything like that. So it's not that ridiculous. Um, and then there's nice uh, even painted caps for the tanks. Looks like you have uh, two tanks and then a def tank right there, which is pretty interesting. Um, and then here is the rear deets of the cab. Very three-dimensional, very done up. But this is all structural uh, stuff on the real Actros. Uh, and then this is the exhaust that comes up here. Looks pretty good. Actually, I think that's the um, I think that is the air intake. I believe I think the exhaust is down here on the Actros. Uh, it's very different for the cab overs. So a lot of detail underneath the chassis as well. Nice drive line coming down. Just a single axle that goes through. But even some uh, you know details for um, well, wheel is loose. Look at that. It's weird. I don't know if I've ever seen that. Of course, I don't think I've ever paid attention. Uh, and then you do have some uh, taint plate, uh, the painted tail lights. Sorry about that. They are lensed as well, so it looks pretty good. Uh, your fifth wheel is hitched, um, so it rotates or hinged, I should say. So it does move up and down. The trailer does uh, sit in the hitch wheel. It does not click into it. This is plastic, so do not try to click it. The trailer is metal. So the trailer has just an itty bitty tiny itty bitty teeny tiny uh, kingpin in there and you just uh, set it right there uh, on the plate there we go so usually just set the back of the trailer down and then there you go it drives around turn your wheels get your get your backup game going seeing if you're good at driving a truck or not um, it's got nice weight to it so it feels really really good when you move it around but you know obviously you're not supposed to play with it definitely not meant to be played with for sure so there you go the truck is the best part obviously um they just don't have enough of these trucks released i think this is perfectly great though just liberty walk looks good uh they do have a del del, Mor del motortes i'm not exactly sure how you say it but it's day of the dead um and it's their new western star truck can't Wait, they're also doing a car hauler, uh, an enclosed car hauler, like a race car hauler. Can't wait for that one, too. But that one's coming. So there you go. So Liberty Walk. We got some 190E. We got some Miata Love. We got Porsche Love. Um, S2Ks. A couple of those S2Ks. We'll roll this guy over here. Uh, we're going to do... Uh, we'll do it this way. Find good stuff to stay out of the... Stay out of the studio. We'll get our Bentley on there. And then we'll do a little bit of red, white, and blue on the side with our S2000s and our Defender 90 trucks. So there you go. Uh, obviously, like I said, truck's the best. Uh, but pretty good haul. Pretty good haul. I'm pretty happy with uh, what's going on here. I, I really don't think we have enough decos of the 190E, so hopefully more come out. Um, and then, of course, sky's the limit with the Miata, with just the ridiculous amount of combinations they can do. But uh, other than that, you know, nothing nothing too fancy. I mean, this is pretty good. This is the first time we're seeing that, and it's it's all right. It's it's pretty good. It's pretty all right. It, that particular Bugatti is not that great, but Mini GT did a primo job, so super happy about that. So let me know. You guys like that mix? You guys don't like that mix? Um, let me know if you got that GTR Graffiti Liberty Walk. Um, if you do, um, I'm jelly, totally jelly, because uh, I don't have that guy, which is unfortunate, but... I will get him eventually. And uh, anyways, we're going to roll out. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for sticking around. Mini GT style. Killing. Hanging out. Watching the vids. Uh, we got more content coming. We got way more stuff over there. Uh, we're going to get back to it. So we're going to catch you later. Level him, Doc. Peace.